I am going to get ready to go and go to bed for all that dust. I'm going to get ready to go to the therapist's appointment. Why do I start like this? It's so awkward. Everything is so awkward. I ate my veggie stew yesterday, but today I was I was considering uh, preparing it. Then I just, just felt like uh, I'll just eat it tomorrow. So I ate it yesterday, and today okay I'll, I'll eat bread. But tomorrow, yes, I'll eat the veggie stew. So yeah, gradually build that up so I can eat it every day. Because there were days when I used to eat bread for like three or four days before eating the veggie, veggies too, so. I know I'm making an excuse. I am making an excuse. I could have, I could have um, prepared my veggies too. But it's like, um, it's like, you know, when I eat the bread and the... A jam. The jam I eat is pretty good because it does. It's all fruit. It doesn't contain any sugar or anything. So it's not really that bad. But obviously the veggies do. You know all the vegetables and nutrients is much better for my health. Um, so I am making an excuse. You know I could have prepared the veggies to today, but I've chosen to instead eat the uh, bread. Probably four slices of bread, peanut butter, and jam. Um, two bananas. <laughs> so, hopefully, I'll limit it to that. Because I think I've been eating these uh, cashew nuts, but they're, they're, they're like organic, uh, um, organic, unroasted. They're not roasted. They're not. They don't have anything. So it's, it's pretty good cashews. But obviously they have a lot of fat in them. And that might be, you know, why I contributed to the weight issue gain. Uh, like today, my weight was 70.1 kilos. That is so, so bad. Like, uh, like, that's 150 something. I remember like, a while back I was like, 59, 58 kilos. And look what happened. Because I've been taking care of myself. I've been like, you know, feeling very, you know, like the, the emotional eating. You know, emotional eating is not good, you know. Oh, it's just a bit light. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of. I've let myself go in that respect. I'm not being very disciplined with my eating habits, my diet, allowing my moods. To control my uh, diet. You know the diet can control your moods as well. Oh, this is so bad. This lighting, I mean. So I did send in this application, uh, I don't know, last month. Um, I started the app, it's called the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Um, I sent an application, uh, you know, uh, you know, actually my employment consultant, we, we, we started the process, like, so they're still evaluating my application. I'm still not sure what <laughs> what this means, but I think it's sort of like it give they it's sort of like an insurance, but it's funded by the government. Like if you have a disability or something, uh, you know, like so you, they will give you money to pay for your uh, like psychiatric appointments or you know therapy or things like that uh, because it you know it covers every disability like you know. You know, mobility and all of that it's not just it's it's a 
it's a disability insurance scheme. That's what I think. But I still don't know if that's the case. Um, so I, I don't know. If, but that would be good because then I can, you know, uh, I can, maybe I can get a better psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe they can get more support. Um, but I don't know if I'll get it because, you know, I don't know. Currently, I am on, uh, what do you call, uh, medical exemption. Uh, I've been for like, oh, it's almost like, well, two months have passed. I've still, it's, it ends on July 16th. Um, uh, so, yeah, yeah, so, uh, I do want to <laughs> do things, I want to do things, <laughs> I want to do things, uh, man, what the hell, uh, I don't want to stay at home all day, every day, mm. I haven't been, I wanted to start my electrolysis again, but uh, I don't think, I don't know, I haven't been able to get it get, uh, here from the endocrinologist, but maybe um, this is other place where they do, they do electrolysis for trans people, trans women, so I might have to contact them, but uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I feel like I want to... <laughs> Buy these computer parts first before you go there. Uh, so yeah, so I haven't seen my therapist in almost two months. Almost two months. I have not seen my therapist. Uh, so I'm not sure what. She, what she's gonna think about that? Uh, my plan is to go to the <clears throat> go to the go to the uh, what do you call it to hand in my application for my recognized detail certificate tomorrow 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 mm -hmm. if I can get this so difficult with this. So yeah, I feel like my life isn't moving anywhere. There's no progress. I feel like I'm. Oh, I'm gonna be 41 soon. What did I accomplish in this past year? I feel like I didn't do anything. Like my life is like a standstill. Time is just like passing away and I'm not doing anything, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not achieving anything, it's like, I feel like I'm just stuck and I'm like, I'm not, oh, I wish I could be doing things with my life, I wish I could be like, going places and, you know, accomplishing things, I wish I could do that, what's like stopping me? Hmm. Very strange looking thing there. I don't know how to do this styling. Why does this pop up like that? Maybe I need to do one of those iron curling things. I, I don't know. I don't know how to style my hair. I don't know. What the hell? I feel like this thing makes my face look fat. I don't know. Well, I have gained weight, so obviously, you know, I've grown some weight, so... It's just not a depressing thing. My life isn't going anywhere! I'm so depressed! I haven't been able to achieve things! I feel like my life is stuck, I'm not going anywhere! It's like, it's depressing, it's like, what the hell? What the hell, man? Wait a minute. I feel like this is like, the, I have to flip it the other way or something. <sighs> is this the right way? I don't, I don't know. I think this is the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't like the way I look right now. I shouldn't care what people think of me, you know. 
Yes, I am trans. Yes, yes, yes. So even if you, even if you clock me, I hate that phrase. I, I just hate it. Yes, I, I, I am me. I'm, you know, I, this is who I am. You know, I am Yvette. This is who Yvette is. And yes, so that's that's who I am. So yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I'm gonna go. My hour is 1:09 p.m. Time. Look at me. I'm feeling fat. Look, look, I'm fat. I'm like, what the hell? It's like so depressing. It's like, what the hell? How did I get? How did I let myself go this far? Like, for instance, on uh, the second. On 16th of February 2019, my weight was 65.7. That's even that's depressing because like last year it was like uh, like 59 at some point, 58 even. I want to get down to like 54, you know, like so like. Uh, let's see, I want to at least you know I want to get down below below 120 pounds so let's see 154.5 wait a minute, wait a minute. 154.5 which is what it was today uh, let's say one is 115 I have to lose 39.5 pounds 39.5 pounds that Yes, I want to go down to that like very very thin just so I can see how do I look how does my body look when it is with that kind of a uh, weight I just want to know how I look like that I don't know if I'll may if that'll be the weight I want to maintain or something but I just want to do uh, yeah, just go down to that weight Okay, I'll upload this and I don't know if I'll make a video after the appointment, uh, but I will, uh, yes, I will upload this now. Oh, wait a minute, I need to get a screenshot for the, uh, you know, the um, thumbnail. Um, I'll just see that. This is a thumbnail shot. How do I, should I smile? Or should it be like this? Yeah, alright, that'll be good enough.